All right, here we go. Question number five from our college algebra homework number three in my lab math says describe how the given function can be obtained from one of the basic graphs. Again, that means parent function, then graph the function. So I have my function written down up here in the upper right hand window. Uh, let's get started. First of all, I want to point out that when I'm identifying transformations, I like to start at the right and work my way back to the left. So I've got this minus 1. If, that, if you've got a constant outside of the function here at the back, outside of the squared, that is a vertical shift. Vertical shift minus means down. So that's going to be a shift down 1. Numbers that are added or subtracted inside the function, here inside the squared, that is a horizontal shift, and plus is left, minus is right. And I know that sounds opposite of what you would think, but that's the way it works, okay? A horizontal shift is opposite what you think. Plus is left, minus is right. And so let's see what we've got here. It says start with the graph of f of x equals. Now here they want you to put in the parent function, which is x squared, because we have x with a squared here. Shift it, which way did we say? Left 3, up here, left 3, and then shift it, we said, down 1. Now then, now that it's going to want me to graph, okay? So if I click on the graph, it's going to give me some tools. This is a quadratic. x squared is quadratic. And we do, well, it's actually called the x squared tool. So we're going to click on that. And then let's, well, I'm going to need some points. So before I do this, we probably need to come up here in this window and find some points. Let's do that. All right, so we're going to make us a little XY table. And just so you know, the, the O'Neill technique for graphing, to minimize the amount of work you have to do, you want to be pretty selective about the X that you start with here. I want a number that's going to make the stuff inside the parentheses zero. So what number for X would make this zero? Well, that would be negative 3. And then we're going to plug that in and see what we get. Negative 3 plus 3, well, that's 0. 0 squared is 0. And 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Now, the reason that this number is important, making the stuff inside 0, is because this is the center point. I like to call it the critical point. Remember, an x squared graph makes a parabola. And so what we just found here is the vertex. It's going to be the center of the parabola. And then I'm going to pick a number on either side of negative 3 equidistant from negative 3. So negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. These numbers are going to be on either side of negative 3. Each of them are one unit from negative 3. And the reason I want to go equidistant is because these points should be symmetric. In other words, they should have the same y value. And so let's see what we get here. Plugging in, negative 4 plus 3 squared minus 1. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. 1 minus 1 gives me a 0. And so the negative 2 should also give me a value of 0 if I have uh, explained this correctly. Let's see. Negative 2 plus 3 squared minus 1. So negative 2 plus 3 is 1. 1 squared is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. And those are now verified. Okay, so now let's plot the points and play connect the dots.
negative 3 is at negative 1, right about there. Negative 4 is at 0, and negative 2 is at 0. So can you see that? We've got a parabola, something like that. Can you see that? Let's check Desmos and see if I lied to you. G of X equals parentheses X plus 3 squared minus 1. Damn. Now, can you see that? If I click on these critical points, those points verify the work that I did up here. Negative 3, negative 1, negative 2, 0, negative 4, 0. Those are all verified, and the graph looks the same. So I feel really good about this work here. So let's see. To graph that in our tool, we're going to go to negative 3, negative 1. Up, oh, <laughs> It's going to want me to use transformations instead of points. All right, so what did we have? We had... Get this out of the way here. A vertical shift down one. So that's a vertical shift to minus one. And a shift to the left three would be a horizontal shift to negative three. All right, so let's see. Does that look like this? Yeah, I feel pretty good about that. So let's close and check that. Bam! Whew, man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.